Hello everybody, welcome to the Two Passports Packed YouTube channel. So what I've done is I've transferred all my old videos from Luxury Travel Camel over to the Two Passports Packed channel. So stick around, watch the videos on this new channel. Thanks everybody, bye. Hello everybody, if you're looking for some information on Hotel from Teed in Iceland, stick around, watch this video. Okay, today is the 23rd of June 2017 and tonight I'm staying in Hotel Frontied. I hope that's the correct pronunciation. So I'm just coming up to the hotel now. Apparently the hotel overlooks a lovely bay. There seems to be a lovely quiet fishing village as is described on the website which I checked before I came. There's the hotel, Hotel Frontied. So once I've checked in, I'll give you some more information. Okay, so finally I've checked into the hotel. It's almost got a log cabin feel to it. It's really, really nice. Feels really stable. One thing to note, the rooms on the left-hand side are the ones that are closer to the harbor. Those are the odd numbered rooms. The ones on the right-hand side, those are the even numbered rooms and those are closer to the mountain. So I'm staying in room 116 so I'll just give you a tour before it gets too chaotic in here which it does have a tendency to do unfortunately given all the stuff that I normally travel with okay so bathroom first shower fairly standard I suppose funny layout of the toilet I've noticed that the heater is very close which is uh, quite peculiar. Anyway, so then, I suppose it's an average size room, not that bad. So I've got a room with two single beds for some reason. I don't know when last I slept in a single bed. Anyway, that's all right. It's only for one night. And what else? TV, cupboard, storage space. So yeah, pretty much a suitable room, it looks good, very solid and stable, should be warm enough. I'll give you some more information on the other parts of the hotel very soon. As I mentioned in the video, what you need to do is request a room with an odd number. Those rooms overlook the harbour whereas the rooms with an even number overlook the little hill that's in the back of the hotel. So obviously the rooms overlooking the harbour have a much better view. What you should do as well at the hotel is have dinner at their restaurant. The food is very good and the location is tremendous with a view right over the harbour. Okay, this is a continuation of my review of the Hotel Framteed where I stayed last night. Today is now the 24th of June 2017 and as you can see when I zoom out this is the view that you get from the hotel into a lovely harbour area, lots of birds, great photo opportunities. So if you're thinking of staying in this part of Iceland then consider Hotel Framtid as one of your options. Another suggestion, what you should do is get up early, go for a walk around the harbour. As you can see, you will get some amazing photographs with some great colours. Okay, my final thoughts on Hotel Framtid, where I stayed in Iceland. The hotel is okay, it's not great, 
perfectly acceptable for a few nights stay while you're in the area. But there's a few things that they could do better. There's plastic coverings on the tables in the dining room area and in the breakfast area. There's no shower door, which is a little bit irritating. And also the space between the rooms, the sort of the walls are quite thin, so you can hear the people in the other room, but I suppose that's not that bad because it's a nice location, it's reasonably quiet. I didn't find it to be a major problem. So yeah, anyway, if you're in the area, think about Hotel Framtide. It's a lovely spot right on the harbor. Go out early in the morning, take some nice photographs and go from there. What you can do for your morning exercise is walk around two minutes to a lovely statue in the nearby park. Otherwise walk behind the hotel and see this wonderful blue house. Thanks for watching everybody. If this video helped you in planning your own trip to Iceland, it would be wonderful if you'd give this video a like on YouTube. Otherwise, please feel free to subscribe to our channel where you can keep updated on our latest travel adventures. Thanks guys.